Hey guys, welcome back to another quick Premiere Pro tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to reverse the speed of a clip in your timeline. As you can see, I've already dragged my clip down here to the timeline, so what we wanna do is make sure that clip is selected. Then you're gonna right click on the clip and go on up here to speed and duration and you're going to check this reverse speed box right here. You'll see that you do have an option to change the speed of your clip if you'd like to. We're gonna leave it the same, and you're gonna hit OK. And now, when we play it back, you can see that my clip is playing in reverse. So it's as simple as that, that's all you've gotta do. What I wanna do now is show you a couple of ways that you can use this effect in your videos to add a little bit of style. All right, so first thing we wanna do is find the climax of our emotion here, which I think is right before he starts to come down from that jump. So right about right there, that's where I wanna end this clip. So I could either drag this up right here, I'm gonna undo that, or I can create a cut right here, hitting C on my keyboard, making a cut right there, and then I hit V to go back to my selection tool, select that into the clip and delete it. Now what we have is him just jumping up in the air. So what I wanna do is make a copy of this clip that we just trimmed down. The easiest way to do this is to hold down Alt and drag that clip over. That's gonna create a copy for you. Now I'm going to right click on this clip, go up to speed and duration and hit reverse speed once again. And now we'll watch it back. It's kind of a cool effect. All right, let me show you a couple of other ways you might wanna use the reverse speed effect to make this same motion a little bit smoother. So what we wanna do is create another copy of this first clip. So we're gonna hold down Alt on the keyboard, drag that clip over here, and I'm gonna change the speed within this clip. So the way that we're gonna do that is by right-clicking on the clip, and we're gonna go down here to show clip keyframes go down here to time remapping and click speed. Now, this line that you see right here, this is going to control the speed of your clip. So here at the beginning, the speed is constant all the way through the end. So what we wanna do is right around here, the same place where we ended, I'm gonna create a keyframe. And the way that you do that is by holding down command and clicking right where you want that keyframe to go. Now, when you drag this bar up, that's gonna make the end of my clip faster. As you can see there, we have 160% speed. So it's gonna go 160% faster than the original footage. So you can see that makes that end of the clip shorter because it's playing out faster. Likewise, if we wanted to, we could drag this front end of the clip down to make it go slower or faster as well. I'm gonna leave that at 100% for now. And then you also want to drag these uh, keyframes apart from each other a little bit and that's gonna kind of smooth out that motion. Let's watch it and see. It's really subtle. This clip is pretty short, so it's a bit hard to see, but what I'm gonna do is make another copy of this clip by holding down Alt, dragging that over here next to it, and I'm going to right click on that clip speed and duration and reverse speed and hit okay. Now let's watch that back. So you can see that adds a little bit more style than the first way that we edited this clip, just by adding a little bit of speed on the end there where that um, motion gets exciting. Let me show you a couple more examples. All right, so I have my clip down here with my endpoints and outpoints already selected, and I want the motion to rewind right here while he's at the peak of that jump. So I'm gonna make that the end of my clip, and I'm gonna do just like we did before. I'm gonna right click on that clip, go down to show clip keyframes, time remapping speed, and um, I'm gonna create a keyframe right at the end here by holding down command, Clicking my mouse, that's gonna make my keyframe. I'm gonna make the end faster here. I'm gonna go on up to, let's try 260. Let's make extend that clip a little bit and I'm going to drag these keyframes out so that motion is a little bit smoothed out and let's see how that looks. So I want it to end a little sooner And drag these keyframes back up to where he's right at the top of that jump. And I'm gonna drag the end to end right at the end of the jump as well. 
and I'm gonna extend the motion so it's a little smoother. Now let's watch it again. Okay, that looks good. So we are going to hold down Alt to make a copy of that clip, drag it right to the end of the other clip and right click on that clip, go up to speed and duration, reverse speed and okay, let's watch it back. Cool. And that's it. I just wanted to show you guys first quickly how to reverse the speed of your clips and then a couple of ways that you can do that to make a cool motion effect on your clips. And as you can see, there's a lot of freedom there. You can slow them down, speed them up at different points throughout the clip. And then by putting the same clip next to it with reverse speed, um, it just adds a cool effect. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. As always, leave me comments below if you have any questions. Thanks guys.